So in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me. It's going to be like a little vlog style type of video. Today is the day before Memorial Day, so it is Sunday. Um, but I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me for two days. And I'm going to be doing some vlogging. I wanted to share with you what I'm going to be making for Memorial Day. We're not going anywhere. We're going to be here at home. But still, I wanted to just show y'all what I'm going to be making. So... That's what I got going on tomorrow, but before I get too far into this video, I just want to thank Thread Tank for collaborating with me on today's video. You guys, as soon as Thread Tank reached out to me, I knew I had to jump on it. Their shirts are super amazing, and I love their motto. It's stories you can wear. So basically, you're really telling your own story in the clothes that you wear. I love it. I'm not going to talk about it too much just yet because I'm going to show you guys the shirts that I got and the shirts that they sent me and then I'm going to do like a little try on haul for y'all so y'all can see how it looks on me and while I'm doing all that I'm going to actually go into more details about Thread Tank. So let's go and hop right into it and i'll be giving you guys all of the information that you need so you can order your own set of thread tanks because i don't know about y'all but i love me a good tea so let's jump into it like i said i'm gonna show you first what i got and then i'm gonna be trying on all three of the shirts that they sent me so let's go let's jump right into it so first you guys i just wanted to give you a quick overview of the three shirts that i personally picked out and that was sent to me and I love Thread Tank's motto, stories you can wear. I think that is so amazing because at the end of the day, y'all, we all have a story to tell. And for some people, it's super hard to verbally express themselves and express their story. But Thread Tank literally makes it easy for you because now you can express your story in a t-shirt. How amazing is that? And I just want to take the time out to thank Thread Tank for collaborating with me on this video and i am grateful for this thank you card it really means a lot to me so i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys why i chose all three of these t-shirts so first we have the it's too peopley outside in the color sport gray and if y'all didn't know your girl is an introvert and it's so weird because i'm a people person but then at the same time i really don't like being around a whole lot of people I'm an introvert. What can I say? Sometimes I just want to be by myself and I just want to be left alone. So this was the perfect shirt for me. Now we're going to move on to the Simply Heart in the color Poppy. Y'all, this shirt speaks for itself because I just have a heart of gold. I'm a sweet person. 
I'm super kind. Sometimes I have this very rough exterior. Like I'm unapproachable, but I really am. I'm approachable. I can talk to almost anybody. And like I said, I'm just a sweetheart that I have a heart of gold and I have a heart for people. And last but not least, my favorite, all I need is coffee in Jesus in the color Heather Rouge. Y'all, for me, it's Jesus first and then coffee. <laughs> but I love the shirt and it feels amazing. It is so soft and stretchy. I love this t-shirt. But like I said, who don't love coffee? You got to have you some coffee to pick you up in the morning and throughout the day. And then you got to have Jesus because he just gets us through everything in life. So you guys definitely please head on over to Thread Tank's website and check them out. And y'all, they make shirts literally for everyone in every occasion. So this totally makes for a great gift all year around. And Thread Tank uses nothing but the best quality ink. So your designs and t-shirts can withstand the test of times and also those washes. And you can literally pair these tees with your favorite jeans, a skirt. You can just make it super cute and make it your own. So I will definitely have my promo code here on the screen, which is Shalia Rose 10. And make sure that you use that at checkout so you can get 10% off of your purchase. And everything will be down in my description box below. So this way you can just head right on over there and put in my promo code at checkout and get your 10% off. And I want to thank Thread Tank again for collaborating with me on today's video. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, y'all, please head on over to Thread Tank, get you some shirts. It could be the same three that I have, or it could be some different ones, but please go get you a t-shirt that tells your story. Thread Tank literally has an amazing variety. So again, thank you Thread Tank so much for collaborating with me on today's video. Now let's go ahead and get into the cooking. So first things first, we're just going to get into this black tea lemonade recipe. And I just have five cups of water boiling and I love using the Earl Grey tea for this recipe. And all you need is four tea bags. And then I'm just going to make a quick simple syrup which is nothing but water. I like to use a little bit of light corn syrup and then some sugar and stir it around a little bit and then you're just gonna let that boil. Y'all don't mind those potatoes that was on the stove. My mom was making something on the side. So now I'm just gonna jump into the beignet recipe because you do have to let this sit for about an hour or two being that it does have the dry active yeast in there. So of course it has to sit and it has to rise. So I wanted to get started on that. And y'all, I'm not gonna tell you no lie. As far as the voiceover, I really can't explain everything because I cannot remember offhand the measurements of everything that I used, but I will have the link for this recipe down in the description box below. So if you want to try it, just head on down to my description box and the link will be there. So y'all, I wanted to come back really quick and apologize because I did mention in my intro clip that this was supposed to be a vlog style kind of video. But y'all, the weather had been so bad this weekend. It started raining about Friday evening. And y'all, it rained all weekend. It was just dreary. It was dark and gloomy and wet. And my dad was supposed to come over for Memorial Day. We were going to go out. We were going to take London in the backyard. We were going to walk on the boardwalk and take us to the park. I was going to bring you guys along for the whole entire day. I was going to officially introduce you guys to my dad. But the weather put a damper in our plans. But it's okay. I'm learning that all things happen for a reason. And maybe there was a reason that the weather was bad all weekend. I'm just grateful because you never know, God might have been protecting us from something. So I do apologize that I didn't get a chance to vlog and all you guys are really going to just see is me cooking at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and get these burgers into the oven. And y'all don't worry, your girl is not going to leave y'all hanging. I wanted to get these burgers into the oven first and then I'm gonna go back and show you guys how I mixed up my burger meat and everything that I used 
to put in there and don't worry you guys i will have everything down in my description box so it's okay if you guys can't remember everything that i put in there everything that i used to put in my burgers and the link for the beignets everything is literally going to be down in my description box below Okay, y'all so it is the night before memorial day so i'm just going to be mixing up this meat so it can sit overnight normally i do turkey burgers but this time i really had a taste for a good good burger and i love using this steakhouse elite ground beef i've mentioned this before in the previous video it is literally the best i just i love using this ground beef so i got my seasonings over here i got some oats because i like to put that in my burger mix i actually like putting some chicken dipping sauce in there it just gives it great flavor some of that sauce some ketchup some maple barbecue sauce mustard garlic and an egg this is an extra large egg and this is really not a lot of meat so i don't want it to be too loose and too mushy so i'm only going to use the yolk from there so it doesn't make the meat too loose and that's what i am going to be doing like i said i just wanted to bring you guys along with me so i'm going to mix this up so this can sit overnight and this way it can get all the flavor in there I normally like to chop up some onions and put it in there, but y'all, I'm not going to even tell y'all no lie. Your girl don't feel like doing all that tonight, but that's what I got the onion powder for. So, we're just going to put a little bit of extra onion powder in there, but let's go ahead and get started. If you are new here, I just wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Shalia, and over here on my channel, you will find tons of cleaning motivation, some cook with me, some laundry motivation, deep cleaning motivation, and just all things mom life. So if that is the kind of content that you are interested in, then I hope that you will consider staying a while and subscribing to my channel.
So like I said, I just wanted to go back and just give you guys a glimpse of how I mixed up my burgers. I didn't want to just put the burgers in the oven and then you guys were kind of lost trying to figure out when did I mix them up and how did I do it. But now we're going to go ahead and get into some of these dishes really quickly because I've mentioned this before. I like to clean as I go so this way once everything is done, I don't have a messy kitchen and I don't have too many dishes to do. I also did make some fries, but y'all, I thought I was filming and I wasn't. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was just stuck looking real dumb because I had my phone and my tripod and I never pressed the record button, but it's okay because it was just regular bag french fries. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to make them some french fries in the bag, but all I used was a little bit of paprika and I used some french fry seasoning that I like to pick up from Big Lots and a little bit of pepper y'all and that was it. I just threw them bad boys in the oven and yeah that was pretty much it. So like I said I thought I was filming that part but I wasn't. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these dishes really quickly before moving on. So now we're just going to get into the beans. I didn't put them in the oven and bake them this time around like I did before in a previous video. So I'm just going to add some ketchup, a little bit of mustard, some maple barbecue sauce, a dash of honey, and some light brown sugar. And that's pretty much it. I love the flavor that this gives my beans. So we're going to go ahead and get that cooked up and then we're going to finish the rest of this black tea lemonade. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. And now I'm just going to add this lemonade concentrate to the Earl Grey tea now that that's cooled off and also that liquid sugar. To me, it didn't have that lemon flavor that I wanted. So I just used some Country Time Lemonade Powder Mix. And that's pretty much it, you guys. You can add slices of lemon and also some mint to it. And I just pour that into this little jug and pop that bad boy into the freezer. Now I'm just going to finish up my beignets. So I just put some flour onto the counter and then I just patted this out and then I also rolled it out with my rolling pin and I cut them into squares and just put them in some really hot canola oil. Y'all for this recipe you have to use canola oil. Well in the recipe that I found let me say that another recipe might call for a different oil but I definitely will say this even if you try another recipe definitely use the oil that they suggest because it is a reason for that so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and just get them cut up and then i'm going to be dropping these bad boys into that hot canola oil So now I'm just going to get these beignets into this oil and y'all that is all that I have for you for today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you did then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
introduce yourself down in the comments below if you are new and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and also make sure that your notification bell is turned on so you are notified every single time that i upload a new video thank you guys so much for watching today and also a big big thank you again to thread tank for collaborating with me on today's video you guys don't forget to head on over and get your t-shirts and use my promo code at checkout thank you guys again so much for watching stay blessed and stay safe and i'll see you all in my next one bye guys Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better